We can't afford for our mission to be derailed. We can't afford for what God has done in our lives to stop because we are upset about one thing. See, in the grand scheme of things, one thing is not enough yes. to distract from all the things that God has done for us. God desires a group of people who will serve Him in fullness and truth and serve God and God alone, who will die to themselves and the things that they believe are right and appropriate and live for the things that give God glory. And the question for us always is, what kind of stuff gives God glory? It's the ability to look at somebody and see them and know that they've been struggling yeah. and not quite sure which way they're going to go or what they're going to do. Yeah. And you allow yourself to be vulnerable enough yeah. to remember that look that you yourself had yeah. and the things that you yourself went through, like when it was that you had three kids all at the same time. And how hard it was to go anywhere or do anything. And, yes. and no matter how you worked, you still didn't have enough to make ends meet. It. Yes. I mean, it, 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 it might be like when you went to work and you worked so hard and when you came home it didn't appear like anybody appreciated it. And they just wanted you to go back to work again. It, it might be that you see somebody and, and you see their body spit over just a little bit. And you might be able to tell them that you know what that looks like and you know what that feels like. And maybe you ought to ask the doctor to check your blood sugar levels. And maybe you ought to ask the God, doctors to check your gout numbers because, uh, because when they check your blood, they don't check for gout. And maybe the pain that you're experiencing that fire that's wrecking havoc in your life might just be something that they're not checking for. See, yeah. when you trust and believe in the power and the provision of God, you do good works. And good works are not just feeding people. It's not just providing clothing yeah. for folks. It's not just superficial stuff that anybody yeah. can do. But when you trust and believe yeah. in God and the power yeah. and the provision of God for your life, then you bow down to the Lord and pray and you ask God to give you the word and the wisdom that what you do might benefit a future generation. See, we are the, this is the only generation that is not doing better than their parents. Our sons and daughters grew up in a time yes. of zero power. Yes. And we went forward because Clinton said it was so. Yes. And what we forgot to understand is that zero tolerance was not about anybody but our own sons and our own daughters. It prevented us from being able to spend time with children and mediate conflicts and disputes. It prevented them from being able to understand how to mediate conflict and disputes themselves. You wonder why children share every manner of foolishness and everything they think about on Facebook and Twitter and Instagram. It's because we failed them to tell them how it is that we spend time one with another. And when trouble came, we knew trouble would not last always. I forgot I could have worn those shoes. I didn't get that through, right? And so, uh, 
and so, I mean, and it's good, right? I mean, it, it shows that we're together, and we're Amen. working together, and yeah. we're spending time together, that we yeah. communicate together, yeah. but it's got to be more than just what we look like when we gather. It's got to be about how somebody feels when they're in your presence. Yeah. See, when we start talking about that we're praying for somebody, we're not just praying for somebody, we're praying that people are lifted yeah. up. We're praying that somebody gets what we know that God can do. The Bible says that even greater will be done in the lives of those that you bear witness to. God needs some people who will bear witness to his salvation, to the saving grace and mercy and his power and God needs some people who generation after generation after generation will show up in middle school yeah. classrooms with children who have not been parented, yeah. by children who have not been parented, who will take care of them and spend time with them. God needs some people who will show up in the cafeteria and spend time and sit down and listen to and, and pay attention to and love on it and pray. God desires a people who will look past who they believe themselves yeah. to be and look on their children. Yeah. Yeah. And know that God desires even greater in their lives. Yeah. Yeah. See, when we pray one for another, we pray that the evil yeah. would not overtake us. Yeah. We pray that we would be able to resist the temptations yeah. and the wiles of the yeah. devil. Amen. Do you know how easy it is to get strung out on drugs? Yes. Do you know how easy it is yes. to drink yes. until you can't even feel any longer? Yes. It's so easy because nobody yes. has enough time yes. Come on out, say it. to tell us yes. That they too suffered. Yeah, yeah. And they didn't suffer alone. Hallelujah. But they Hallelujah. suffered with some friends who yeah. would lift them up. Yeah. We need some believers yeah. who believe in the provision of God enough to tell somebody the truth. Huh. That yeah. you don't live this life by yourself. Yeah. And when you humble yourself before yeah. God yeah. and open up your heart yeah. and your soul and your spirit to a living and a loving and a just God, God. Do the incredible yes, in your life. Does anybody believe in signs and wonders anymore? Does anybody believe that God is a miracle worker? That God is who God says that He is? I mean, back in the day, you know, when you, when my daddy used to preach, my daddy is 92, and back in the day, he used to say, you know, rock in a weary land. He is shelter in a time of storm. He is a will turn.
and take in all yes. that the Lord does for him preach, preach. in the sanctuary yes. and go out there huh. and cuss jokers out Please. when they cross us yes. going into the grocery store. Uh -huh. They have no tolerance Please. for those who can't ring our groceries up fast enough. Yes. And on Monday morning, how dare us get Please. in the traffic going to work. Please. The job that provides for your family yes. gives you everything that you need. How dare you damn to hell yes. those who yes. cross in front of you? How dare us know who God yes. is and yes. profess to be yes. Christian, Christ-like, yes. and yes. operate in our own power, and not yes. the power and the provision yes. of God, God, yes. all by God. Do yes. you know yes. that when you have the power of yes. God within yes. you, God will give you that that you didn't even yes. know that you needed? God will provide for you in ways that yes. you did not even know were quite possible. God will do in your life that that you're not even sure is even capable. God yes. has already promised good yes. to you. Yes. Yes. And how dare you live yes. beneath yes. your promise. Yes. God wants for his people yes. not just to be so consumed in your own piety yes. and in your own holiness and in your yes. own righteousness yes. in your own good looks and your own yes. wealth and the yes. fact that you manage it all by yourself. God yes. desires yes. a people who will humble themselves yes. and bow down to the Lord and yes. pray that God will open up your heart that you yes. would have a word of encouragement yes. and a word of strength and a word of protection, yeah. that you would have a word of love, that you would tell somebody else the good news about who yeah. God is and all that God has yeah. done for you. When she called on your mama's name and yeah. her grandmama's name, yeah. you know that they bore good fruit. Yeah. They bore fruit that you showed up. Yeah. Can you imagine what happens in yeah. another generation? Will your children be able to yeah. stand with your name? Yeah. It's called and testified to what you did. So I know our topic is praying women build a foundation for increase. Yes. Yes. But God wants the people who will build a foundation of prayer yes. that will increase their desire to pray to the Lord. Yes. God desires the people that will increase their desire yeah. to know the promise of God. Yes. God desires the people who will increase their desire yes. to serve the people of God. Yes. God desires the people who will build a foundation for increase. Increase your time and your attention to yes. the ways of the Lord. God wants some people who know Him, who yes. trust Him, who believe in Him. God has already given us all that we stand in need of. And God says, for this reason, since the day we heard about you, Yes. We have not stopped praying for you. Yes. We continue to ask God to fill you with the knowledge of his will, yes. with the wisdom and understanding that the Spirit gives. Yes. God desires a people who will build a foundation on yes. the power and the provision of the Holy Ghost. Yes. They will have people who will increase their time and their attention that you will yield to the Lord. Yes. Yes. And how do we yield to the Lord? We can only do that in prayer. Yes. Yes. I don't mean no superficial prayer. Yeah. Lord, heal my body. Amen. Lord, give me a job. Come on. Lord, bless my children. Yes. Lord, make me have more. Uh -huh. Lord, give me strength. Yes. God desires the people to say, God, I... Yes. God, I stretch myself to thee. Yes. God, I desire to be that who you say that I am. Yes. God, everything that I have done to this point has not yielded that which you promised Hallelujah. in your word. Yeah. And so, God, right now, in the name of Jesus, yeah. I ask that you would move on my heart and my yeah. soul and my mind and my body. Yeah. Decrease me, O oh God, that you might increase in me. Yeah. 
God, show me how to live a life yes. that is worthy of your name. Yes. Show me, God, how not to assimilate to the foolishness of other people. Yes. But God, in the name of Jesus, that I still would know that holiness is still right. Yes. God, help me. Yes. Help me not to be so caught up and consumed with what anybody else says and what yes. anybody else does and yes. how people think about me. Yes. But God, remind me that we are to go to the least and to the lost. Teach Please. me, yes. oh God, that even though it says yes. the poor shall be with us always, that the same people should not be poor day yes. after day after day yes. after day after day. Show us, oh yes. God. Renew a right spirit within us, O oh God, yes. that we might live the lives we've been destined to live, that others might live the lives they've been destined to live. Show us, God, how to mediate conflicts and yes. disputes. Yes. He says that when you get this understanding of the spirit that the spirit gives, yes. that you'll live a life worthy of the Lord. And you'll please God in every way. Yes. Does anybody want to please the Lord? Yes. Does anybody want to please the Lord? That's a real question, right? I mean, do you want to please the Lord? Are you sick and tired of being sick and tired? Are you sick and tired of being status quo? Are you sick and tired of making up excuses of why you don't serve the Lord and why you don't show up in church and why you don't do what you should do, what you know you should do and what you used to do? You're sick and tired of talking about back in the day when we had it, when we were at our very best. Are you sick and tired of always talking about what used to be? Do you know that when you let go of the past? Does anybody want to live in the future? Does anybody want to live in the promise and the provision of Christ Jesus? Does anybody know who God is? And God says simply that when you know him, you will do his work. He said you will bear fruit in every good work, growing in the knowledge of God, being strengthened with all power according to his glorious might. So that you might have great endurance yes. and patience. <laughs> Everybody get a little yes. endurance and a little patience. Because yes. Joseph is be trying you on every leaning yes. 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 Amen. Maybe it'll be easier to get our husbands to come to church mm. if when we leave church we don't cut them out. Wow. Maybe it'll be easier when we leave the church and we get home to our families if we don't tell them. Oh, that message was for you. Maybe we would take what it was for us and then tell somebody about how it moved yes. in us. Yes. Maybe if we want our households to be better, it is us that yes. needs to change. Yes. We who call ourselves members of the body of Christ, yes. maybe we ought to all, all of a sudden start acting more like Christ, stop condemning and stop hating and stop being mean and stop being critical and stop being nasty and stop being hateful. Stop telling everybody what they ought to do and stop telling everybody what you what you used to do. Tell somebody the truth about how when you were at your very worst, it was somebody who prayed for you, somebody lifted you up, somebody called your name to the Lord that despite you, they loved on you. Can you imagine? For a moment, if we had not assimilated to the foolishness of white people telling us that they, we should have zero tolerance for our own children, that we should not allow them to do anything they want to do, they're just trying to express it. Now, let's be clear. My son will tell you, I used to jack him up on every other moment because it was warranted. But I jacked him up every moment that was warranted because my mama jacked me up every moment that was warranted. And I'm not suggesting physical abuse, but I'm suggesting that maybe we ought to sit around a table and have a conversation about what expectations are, about how it is to live our lives and how we manage stressors and strains. Yeah. Maybe we're suffering because we've not sat around the table in a long time. Maybe we ought to put the phones down. Go ahead. Yeah, I'm preaching myself, really. So, uh,
your heart to the Lord. We will pray the prayer of salvation one with another. Let's be with God say amen. amen. And so that's if you just need to know the Lord for yourself. If you have not, if you have not been saved, if you have not acknowledged a relationship with God. The second call goes if you just need a church home. I know you came because your mama's name was called. I know that you call yourself members of the church and that you are here. I saw there were only three visitors in here today. But there are some of us that stepped away. And we only come back on special occasions. Well, today is a great day. you got a new pastor. It's a wonderful opportunity to recommit yourself to the Lord. So does anybody need to recommit themselves to the work of God? The altar is open. There's no shame in coming. The only shame is in knowing that you should and not. This is an opportunity for you to recommit your time and your attention to the ways of the Lord. The altar is open. And this final call is for those of us who just need prayer. I invite you to come to the altar and talk to the one who already knows. Every circumstance, every situation, every need, every desire, your hope, dream, and aspiration. And has already provided you that which you need. I invite you to come to the altar and trust God for it. You may come. and movement, God, that we may be able to, to increase our love for one another, huh? that we will be able to increase our 
knowledge of the living God to be able to share for others. God, that we would tell the dying world that Jesus lives because he lives within us. God, that we would listen to our loved ones, especially our children. God, be able to be a more excellent example, God. God, speak to us today, God. Speak to us as we listen, oh God, that, that it would modify our behavior and, and change our attitudes, God, uh, that we understand that we are your creatures. God created in us a clean heart and renew within us a right spirit, God. Not a spirit of know-it-all, not a spirit of condemnation, God, we would operate from a posture of love, care, and concern, oh God. God, we love you today. We pray this prayer in Jesus' name. And God, we are just going to lift for a second. Forevermore, 
Let us all say, Amen.